Hi, and here we have a fairly straightforward circuits analysis. So we need to, first of all, draw the actual circuit. So we have a voltage supply like so, and then we're told we have a parallel section, which is going to be made up of two resistors like so. Then this parallel section is put into series with another resistor like so, and then we complete the circuit. Now it's important to label your diagram. And so what we have is 20 volts here. We have 10 ohms here. We have five ohms here and another two ohms here. Now lastly, what you do with your diagram is say what you need to find out. And in this case, we need to work out the total current. And then what we need to do is to work out the voltage. Well, the voltage we're interested in is across the five ohm resistor. So I actually put a little subscript phi there to make it really clear which one I'm looking for. Now, so let's start by looking at our current and I'm going to divide my paper into two parts. So I'm going to deal with the total current over this side and the voltage on the other side. Now to work out the total current, the total current is simply the total voltage divided by the total resistance. Let's work out the total resistance. Well, we have two sections here. We have our parallel section and of course our last two ohm, which is in series. So if we work out this as a unit, as a single resistor, we simply say, well, the one over that resistance, one over the double, that means parallel to me, is equal to one over 10 plus one over five, and that gives me three over 10. So automatically I know that my resistance for my parallel section is equal to 10 over three. That means my total resistance, RT, is simply that plus my two. So I'm gonna get 10 over three plus two, and that of course becomes 16 over three ohms. That is my total resistance. Now, the total current therefore, using Ohm's law, is voltage over resistance. So I'm gonna get 20 over my 16 over three, and if you rearrange that, you get 60 over 16, now you can simplify that, but it ends up being equal to 3.75 amps. So therefore, that is my total current. Now what about my voltage across this section? Well, there's a couple of ways you can go about doing this. The one way you can do this is, is work out the voltage drop here, and therefore the remaining voltage drop is going to be the difference between the drop here and the 20 volts. So that's one way of doing it. The other way is to know that we are getting 3.75 amps into the circuit. And because of Ohm's law, see how the ratio is a 10 to five or a two to one, then we'll have in terms of ratios, twice as much current from this 3.75 going into the five ohm resistor and only one uh, for every one part of going through the 10 ohm resistor. And you can use that principle to work out what the current is in this, and that also give you the voltage drop across there. Of course, the voltage drop across the five ohm resistor is the same as the voltage across the 10 ohm resistor. Now that's probably a little bit more complex, so I'm gonna do the former method. How do we do that? Well, we know the total current is equal to 3.75, so therefore the voltage drop in my two ohm resistor is equal to the current, which we already know is 3.75 multiplied by my resistance, which is two. So that's going to give me a value of 7.5 volts. Now that's the voltage drop across this guy. The remaining voltage must drop here because voltage input, energy input, has to equal to the voltage drops as we go around. So as a result, we're gonna get my voltage across my phone. Remember this is parallel, so this is the same for these two values here, is equal to 20 minus my 7.5, and I'm going to get a value of 12.5 volts. Relatively straightforward. Hope that has helped you. Bye for now.